Okay, so uh, I decided that last one wasn't the last one. This will be the last one for the day. I want to get this point across about how I'm doing hair. So I, the last one did not, it was not the hair I needed. I decided I have this other file of hair when I'm opening up. The color's not right, but it'll work. I'll show you that in a minute. So still working on this. Let's see, uh, paste two. And let's see here. Let's do that. Turn it. Oh, turned it too much. There we go. Right. So let's see here. Try and figure out how to get the waves that I want. Maybe. There we go. I think that's the right angles. Pulling it all the way over. And check mark. So now I'm going to hide that layer for a second. Go down here, wand that. Go back to this, make it visible again. Close this hair. So I no longer need it, but I'm going to go to enhance, adjust the color. And I'm going to saturate it. Go into highlights and lighten. Go into shadows. Increase the red. Decrease the blue. Nope, that was not right. Decrease the green. Yes. Decrease the blue. No. Increase the red. Darken. Darken. And decrease blue. Yeah. Darken. Midtones. Darken. No. Lighten. Highlight. Lighten. Saturation more. Highlights. Lighten. Increase red. Increase red. Decrease blue. No. Decrease blue. Decrease. Trying to get it. Oh man. Dark, dark, dark. Hmm. All right. I'm going to start over again. Increase red. Shadows. Increase red in the shadows. Increase green. Increase red. Trying to figure out what makes brown, huh? Saturate. Midtones, dark. No, undo that. Shadows, dark. See what we got here. Let's go back into enhance. Let's see if I can fix that. That does not look like hair now. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah. All right. 
And so my hair is at 85% opacity. Is that right? Do I want 75? So now in the hair underneath, go to the color, lighten, brush. My brush is too big. No, maybe it was perfect, 170. Okay, hide the dancing lines with control H. I'm going to go try and lighten this from underneath. That way it can it'll show Let's see if that's doing anything. Yeah, oh man. So my opacity on this layer 75 is that too light? So on the hair layer, just lightly. No, that's blurring it. Okay. <clears throat> what can I do here? Pick a lighter color. Brush. That's doing it. That's what I'm wanting. All right, I think I've done what I've set out to do on that. Now I've got to color some skin. Wait. Open. Textures. Wings. Black folded wings. Leaf. So I have this leaf here. This is leaf for Tinkerbell's wings. So I've taken, this is a leaf I took a picture of from my own yard. It is a cottonwood leaf, I think. No? Maybe it's a walnut tree leaf. And let's see here. Over here, I am going to select Lasso Magnetic. And Hair and Wings. Is that right? Yep, that's where her wings are. Select her wing. And oh yeah, as I was saying in the, uh, oh, I got to plug in my batteries about today. Uh, as I was saying in the other video, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, I hope to do these videos more regularly and show you a little bit more of my process. So I'm going to copy this, and in this layer, hair and wings. Wait, where's the FX wings? Do I have an FX wings? Okay, so an FX hair, I guess, is where that's going to go. <clears throat> it's time to paste into selection, and it's huge. Oh, shoot. Where even is the thing? I got to shrink it down a lot to get it down to that tiny wing size. And it's just one of those tiny details too that I don't even know if you'll notice it. But oh yeah, so 29 seconds till the video ends. And uh, so this is how I do wings. Let's get it super tiny. Turn it. And 